two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. To bear witness, to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, in search of ideas, of conflict, of rivalries, where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement, where people feel involved with the stories and therefore become product of influence. Thirsty for distraction from time unspent, from lackluster lifestyles, spoiling their minds while stimulating them the exact same time. It's brilliant. But it's also dangerous. It's dangerous. I feel as if my life has been positioned to where I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another follows another, follows another. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's enthralling. It's spellbinding. Just look at all these consumers. All of these lost and bored people consuming anything that they're told to consume. I am the villain. I make myself one. And people will consume these stories year after year after year. Stories that, stories that shock, that confuse, stories that are deliberately made to blur the boundaries between fact and fiction stories that permeate, infect, and linger in the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. I woke up this morning to money deposited into my account for simply not doing something. For simply not going through with something. People are the most fucked up creatures on this planet. And you will continue to consume. And I'll continue to be two steps ahead. Today, I thought it would be a splendid idea to go out and get some food and film it for you. Gee, are you surprised? Have you forgotten the story? Are you not paying attention? After all, you're here to consume, are you not?
Ah, uh, my stupid mask. I did not forget my stupid mask. Oh my god, I did not forget the mask. Oh my god, I did not forget my mask. Oh my god, I did not forget my mask. Just drove all the way here. Can I just put a napkin over it? It does the same thing, doesn't it? Oh, thank gosh. Cheapers. I was really stressing for a minute. <clears throat> what are you looking at, lady? Don't look at me, lady. Ah. Don't look at me, lady. And I have arrived here at the Fatburger, and they don't have a drive-thru. And I actually Googled, like, none of them. Like, there's a few, but they're really, no. So this, there's a bunch that have to make you get out manual labor, man, manual walk yourself into the place. And uh, this person's staring at me because I'm recording myself. Hello, lady. Let's see how many people ask questions about my shirt, which by the way, this hoodie is so soft you can buy it. We still have them available. We had to restock, we took three weeks, I know. Um, link in the description, go to itsjustwaterweight.com if you also are emotional, like me. <laughs> and you wanna rock this out in public. Let's do it, and see, she's just staring at me. All right, let's go out into the wild. Are they open? They better be open. Oh yeah. Oh, wings. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Creepers. Okay, peasants. Peasants, gather around. It's time to watch the king eat while you sit and starve and eat air. That's what I'm saying. Oh, cheapers. Oh, I'm looking really cute. Is this too high? I feel like I'm covering up my, my body. And let's be real. People are here to see my body. Okay. All right, let's get this back. Oh my God. It's leaking. Sydney. Sydney. The TV is leaking. <laughs> you guys remember it. You know what that's. I want to know if I swear I was not allowed to watch that when I was. Um, I grew up in a strict household, which might have been for, be for good, could be for bad, who knows? People turn out how they turn out. But I was not allowed to watch this movie, but I used to sneak over my friend's house. Not sneak, I was allowed to be there. After we checked in every half an hour with an adult supervised at the place, but anyways, oh, these are large. That's a large, excuse me, peasants. This is a large, oh, they really cooked it too. Mmm, the best french fries. <laughs> So I used to watch Scary Movie 3 with my friend. And we watched that movie like four or five times. And you know, even when you're younger, I mean, what, what were, uh, seventh, eighth grade or something? And you know, even then, like, okay, it's not gonna give you nightmares. But some of the jokes are out of line. Some of them go over your head, but, Shoot, there's, there's grown-up stuff, and I'm 27 right now, and there's grown-up stuff that still goes over my head. All right. Now I ask for extra chili. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Excuse me, peasants! This is full of chili cheese. I feel like you can't even see me. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness gracious, Peter Piper, Peter, 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 Peppers. <sighs> Spaghettios. 
and I ordered two. And you want to know why there's, they're so drenched in chili? Because I asked for it. <gasps> oh! Oh, I'm going to be screaming when I eat these. Fat Burger has the best chili cheese. Now, I watched the guy scoop it in, and I said to the lady, the cashier lady, I'm like, I'm sorry to be a bother, but could you put, remember how, well, if you follow my Instagram, you saw my little rant yesterday. Um, into today as well, but some of, you know, they dip, disappear after 24 hours, and I'm not saving it, ugh, whatever. But, um, I'm a very picky person, I'm just annoying. And, uh, so I told her, can you put an extra scoop in there? She's like, yeah, no problems. So they put extra scoops. <gasps> onion rings! They have great onion rings. They have even better, um, what's in here? Onion rings. What's in <gasps> I got their boneless wings, which are so tasty. Oh my gosh, they are so good. Oh, their boneless wings are amazing. And I got um, coconut jerk, and I got lemon pepper. Which you guys know is my favorite thing from Buffalo Wild Wings, my favorite thing from Wingstop. I just love lemon pepper. I don't know why, but I do. I love lemon pepper. I didn't get anything too spicy because this hotel has floating toilets and I'm really afraid. I talked about with Trailer Trash Tammy in her collab yesterday. I'm like, these floating toilets. Uh, oh wait, that was for her channel. You haven't seen that yet. Um, these floating toilets, they make me nervous. They're gonna come flying down. I know they say they can hold up to 500 pounds, but I googled and there's this case of this lady. She's like, I was 400 pounds and I was mortified. She was literally sitting on a floating toilet and it collapsed. It came up well. <laughs> As she's literally pumping out a turd, she goes <laughs> down to the ground. Okay, why is this so greasy? Was it where are they coming from? You have to figure this out. Okay, so I got blue cheese. I got some ranch. I got some ranch. What's in here? <gasps> it just dripped everywhere. More french fries. I'm sorry, today's full of Broadway opera. I'm so sorry, y'all hate that. So that's what was leaking, my actual cheeseburger. Massive, greasy cheese, that's so heavy. So much grease at the bottom of the bag, and this is exactly what I need in my life for my arteries. Okay, my arteries need it, thank you very much. Okay. All right, look at the bottom. That all came from my cheeseburger. And there's some french fries in there, there's forks in there. Let me get some napkins. I'm gonna change my shirt, you guys. Last call for my hoodies, we restocked. They're um, high quality professional. Y'all know, y'all know. I don't need to tell you that much about them because you've seen me with them for like five months. Goodbye, peasants. Let me make this a little bit prettier. One, two, three, bam! Yay, we're back home. Oh, my, my ranch, my ranch, my ranch. It was the blue cheese. Thanks a lot, Ashley. Home, shoop a doo, I'm home, hello, we're back home. Shoop a doo, we're home, hello, and this is hot and steamy, cause I'm eating fat burger. Ah, uh, my ligaments hurt, ouch, my shoulders. That was one of the worst parts about working out. I used to work out all the time, I was really skinny. I was so skinny, I was a ghost, I would turn around and just, ooh, disappear. <clears throat> but the, uh, the things for my shoulders, Ah, oh, those were the worst ex exercises. Onion ring, let's just dig into this feast. I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm. Um. This here's the ranch. They, it looks like they changed their ranch recipe. I'm not really sure. No. Oh, that's the blue cheese. No. This is the ranch, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, that's the blue cheese. No, messing up my order. We're supposed to put the ranch in the front. Cheapers, creepers. Speaking of skinny, I identify as skinny. You can buy this on my website. Actually, this, well, depending on when, when you see this, um, this video, we're still restocking them. It takes forever to buy. There's been troubling times, and I'm not gonna say who to blame it on. <clears throat> The whole world's having a little backup system, and things cost more all of a sudden. They shouldn't even cost it. 
I have to pay more for shirts. And there's a backlog too. So thanks a lot, government. So these are still in back order, but because um, these were the top sellers, this one, and they all sold out. So it will be up, but you might be watching this a year from now and you can buy one, it'll be back up. Because we identify as skinny. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Okay, um, what are we gonna do first besides the onion ring? Mm. That was some great blue cheese, but this is the ranch. Mm. <laughs> Man, I have to say too, I was having a really bad day the other day. Y'all know I was complaining about something, which I don't go into detail. I actually, um, I have to give myself a little applause. I have been drama free for so many years, not counting my husband or, you know, my farts. I mean like with people, like that's life. There's always problems with everything you do. A job, a, 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 a hiring someone to like, I don't know, redo your closet or cut your hair or, there's always problems with people. That's life. But I've done a really good job at keeping them off my channel. I used to rant about everything. I mean, I still do. <laughs> uh, but, we just call them all Ashley's. It's so much easier and no one gets offended, no one gets their feelings hurt. Because once you get things off your chest, you feel better and then, but it sits on the computer forever. So someone might see it again and be like, ah, oh, I'm hurt all over again. So anyway, um, I feel a lot better. Look at these chili cheese dogs. <sighs> they are loaded and wet. That is a wet chili cheese dog. That is a wet, cheesy dog. <gasps> My tray moved. Actually, we can probably take it down. So my collab with Trailer Trash Tammy, um, you know, it's a little inappropriate, but she's an inappropriate lady, so that's how that goes. But I have so much fun, and I love talking about everything. We talk about hot dogs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we talk about everything. Oh, great, now the lighting. Um, apparently she likes uh, hot dog cheese, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I told her, I, I prefer the skin, though. Mm. The skin is the best part. And for some reason, this dang country, they chop it off. It makes no sense. I mean, I've been in British, I've been in Italy, I haven't been to, well, I am from Ukraine, but still, most of the world does not do that. Why do we have to do that? This just seems so old fashioned. And most people don't even know why they do it. They just do it to do it. I'm like, that's, that's just weird to me. Mm. Thank God I'm with a Colombian. Well, actually, we're technically married, but I'm Chino with, with Mexicans and uh, Cubans. Ah, mm. Delicious. And they all got their skins just like they should. Oh, no, I'm not shaming people who haven't chopped off. It's not even your fault. It's your parents' fault. It's their faults. They haven't asked you if you wanted that. It's just so weird to me. Leave the sausage skin alone. Life is so much better with it. All right, here we go. Oh man, now I'm missing my Cuban affair. All right, let's go for this. Mm. Chili cheese is the best. Uh, mm. I mean, the hot dog is good too, but I'm just the chili cheese alone. Mm. Mm.
Tammy, if you're watching this video, it's your fault. I can't stop thinking about Sasha's skins now. <sighs> German boys, French boys, <laughs> Russian boys, uh, Japan, Japanese boys, Korean boys, Colombian boys, Ecuadorian boys, Peru boys, Mexican boys, <sighs> Norwegian. One time, I hooked up with a Norwegian. This is a real story. And apparently he was someone that like, oh, can I say this on YouTube? Uh, he likes to be open and free around the house, if you know what I mean. Like it's really hot, pretend, but it's actually not. It's not hot. Starts with an N, ends in Udist. If you don't get it, then you're stupid. Okay, so, and I didn't know. He was a friend of a friend of mine. And I had no place to go. I was really, really, really poor. And I crashed on his house, uh, on his couch. And all of a sudden, he comes out of the room. Nothing's on him. Nothing. I was like, oh. Hi. <laughs> oh my god, I, I know I froze up. I did not know what to say. That was my first time ever... I guess you could say it's inappropriate. I did not mind, though. I think of it to this day. Ugh. Oh. I, I wish there was more. <laughs> that, that story stopped so quickly. I'm like, ugh. Oh. I definitely froze up, though, because I was, like, in the moment shocked. But then, like, it's been years, and I still think of it. I'm like, wow. It's like when you go to those beaches in Europe, and everyone's open. <clears throat> Except it was in an Airbnb. And I know everyone's going to say this is inappropriate. I don't care. <laughs> I liked it. And, um, why am I telling you this story? I forget why. <gasps> mm, oh! He had this beautiful long skin on his sausage. It looks so good. And then, we ended up doing it. <laughs> but not it. I mean, just like, um, actually he came from me. And I definitely did not say no. Go right ahead, please. Do whatever you want. But then when we were laying down, we, okay, first it started out in the kitchen. Cause his, it was a very small like New York City apartment. And the couch and the kitchen were like this far apart. I was sitting on the couch, he comes out of the bedroom. Again, there's nothing there. He's in the kitchen. Pretending to do dishes or something, seeing what happens. <laughs> I'm sitting there. And then I have to go to the bathroom, but the bathroom, I have to go through his room to use the bathroom. Again, this was an interesting situation. I couldn't afford a hotel. I had no place to go. My friend was a friend. He's like, oh, yeah, he does, like, couch surfing and stuff like this. Oh. Mm. So when I came out of the bathroom... He was at the doorway between, like, the living room kitchen's here and then the bedroom's on this side. He was in the doorway between the two. His hands were up like this. And he was just, like, blocking me. And I knew what he wanted. And, you know, I wanted to, but I didn't want to make the move. So I was just like, I don't remember, so many years ago, I don't remember what I said. But eventually it started happening. And, uh... He went straight. It was like feast time for him. And I remember I was laying there and all of a sudden, a finger becomes wandering, a wandering finger. And I got real nervous and I, I clenched. I said, oh, no, 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 no. That's when I was like, no. He's like, okay, let me jump the finger down. But I got real nervous, I'm like, oh. What happens if uh, if we go to the bathroom? I don't know what to do. I think it was like 21, 20 something, 22. I don't, I don't remember. So I didn't have much experience. <clears throat> I still don't. I just crap everywhere. That's my experience these days. Up in Sesame Street, I'll literally, I'll literally be walking here in this hotel from the kitchen to the little the room with the studio, and I'm like, I'm squeezing. <laughs> don't come out. 
I don't know how to control it back there. Oh man, but that was, that was so fun. Mm, I wish I could go back, back in time, but I don't know if he likes chubs. Probably not. Nah. All right. Look at this beautiful Hefty Burger. Wow, inappropriate time. Trailer trash, Tammy's fault. She gets me in these topics here. So that's kind of what we talked about yesterday. We also talked about people lining up for her. Wow. Wow. Ah. Uh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to make this pretty. I'm gonna do a little thumbnail. I'm gonna pose with it. It's gonna be all nice, nice. It might be really, really messy too. Ah. Uh, should I put some like uh, cream on it? Yeah, let's put some, put some of that Norwegian leftovers. He was very kind, very friendly. Oh, look at that blue cheese, excuse me. He bought all my food, he bought all my drinks. Very nice fella. Ah, how do I go for this? Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so fatty. It's so fatty. Oh, excuse me. This is so fatty. Oh my God. Mm. Ah. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what you're going to say. Wow. <laughs> uh, I know I'm disgusting. You don't have to tell me, actually. <clears throat> I know. That's why I'm as single as a Pringle. Ah. Anyways, you know what's so funny about that Norwegian man too? So this was like long, 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 long time ago. And then three years later, I was back in New York City for, uh, can I say it on YouTube? YouTube's very stickler, so I'll just say a certain parade, certain, you know what, event. Everyone's wearing rainbows. Okay, can I say it? I don't even know. And um, ah, I saw him. And I said, hi. And I kept walking. The end. All right, so now we're going to do the, ooh, <clears throat> the Caribbean jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. All right, let's. Oh, it's runny and juicy and oh, oh. Excuse me, peasants. Do you see? It looks like it's glazed in honey. Also, looks like amazing. I identify skinny real good for this one. This is for me. Ah. Mm. Ah. 
I'm at last for. <laughs> How did they do it so good? I'm having a little funk with this this lighting. I think it's too bright there. I think it's too dark. Every time I travel to Malaysia, this or Asia, or wherever I go, Tink Buck Two, this is what happens. Oh, this is so good. Let's give it a little ranch. Even though it doesn't even need it. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Put this to the side. Let's try my lemon pepper. <clears throat> now, you guys know I love lemon pepper from Wingstop. I love lemon pepper from Buffalo Wild Wings. I love lemon peppers because I love lemon peppers because I love lemon peppers because peppers and lemons are healthy and I'm healthy. Might as, might as well call it a vegetable. Okay. Oh my god, it's so greasy. It's soaking wet in grease. I, again, the brightness. I'm getting angry! See, it had to go down the whole time. Cheapers. Here I go. Oh! <laughs> it's so different. It's so different. It's so good. This restaurant is amazing. Why don't they have this in Orlando? Do they even have this anywhere in Florida? I'm mad. This is so good. Mm. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. This is when you say, Nick, you have a problem. Uh, no, I don't. Do you know how many people are watching me starving right now? Uh, <laughs> there's people who are so hungry and poor who can't eat this food. Mm. Peasants on my page. Uh, Y'all like seagulls at the beach. Uh, everywhere. Y'all say, mine, 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 mine. Ah! I almost spilled my water because of you, Ashley. Do you know why it's your fault? Because I'm trying to show you my french fries. No more show and tell for you. You can just zoom in. Mmm. I actually like how they're a little burnt. I love the crisp. This is one of my top restaurants. And I love their milkshakes. Mm. It's expensive though. That's for sure. It's expensive here. <clears throat> I need a shirt that says I identify as poor. But they're coming here. You should hand them out on your way out at the door. Poor shirts for peasants. Poor shirts for peasants. This was like, how many dollars? 80 something dollars. For a little snack. I think four people could split this out. How many calories does a person need? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go back to this burger. That was incredible. <sighs> the thing about that burger too is that <clears throat> you really feel the grease by the end of the meal. You're just like lit sitting there and you're like, blub, blub.
bloop, bloop. <laughs> the beat that goes bump bump, the heart goes ouch, bumpity bump. <coughs> Excuse me. My cough went away. Have you guys noticed? How long did it take me to get over the cough? So in case you're new to my channel or you forgot, I was a good citizen. I did what I was supposed to do. I got the beep, beep, beep. And I suffered from coughing so bad that I broke three ribs. It was that extreme. I was like hunched over. I couldn't stop. Like this autoimmune thing that happened to me. And I was coughing legit for like four months straight. All my collabs with Carly Steele, I was coughing. Um, hungry Fat Chick, I was coughing. Cough, 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 cough. It finally went away. Okay, so I got the first one in July, second one at the end of August, so. Right? Yeah. So September, October. Do we count the months now? Do you count the month you get it? Let's just do September, October, November, December, January. When did I stop though? I'd say I'd say three or four months, but I got it immediately in July after the first beep beep beep. I got the first beep 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 and it started immediately. I remember texting a lot of my friends like, I'm concerned. So I'd say a good four months at least. July, August, September, October, November. I'd say by December it was starting to go away. Hungry Fat Chick collabs in December, yeah. January was finally gone, so it took four months. Four months of packing up a hospice storm. And now I'm eligible for beep beep number, I don't know, 17? And I'm like, I don't wanna get cough attacks for four months again. I don't wanna. Mm. Let's change the subject. <sighs> Burger time. I ate half the burger already. Dang, I have a big mouth. This is for you, Jasper. <laughs> I love how I can't do a mukbang without making a mess, ever. Love that. Oh my gosh, um, Carly Steele is collabing with Foodie Beauty. This weekend. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I can't keep up with what goes on over there. Just like I'm sure she can keep up with me. Even Carly Steele, I mean, I check out her mukbangs, check out her mukbang. They're gonna do a mukbang. <gasps> oh. Carly and Josh. Pretty sure it's gonna be on that channel. <clears throat> They're gonna do a mukbang. I'm so excited. Carly's really let her hair down to just eat what she wants. And I'm so happy for her. And you know, she stops. She doesn't just keep going like a, like a dog. So have what she wants, but she'll eat a normal amount or a restricted amount, so she doesn't get too fat, you know? Can't really. <laughs> um, I'm so excited for it, oh my God. Why do I feel full? You know, because there's so many calories stuffed in here. Oh, I ate the whole hot dog, no wonder. Second hot dog's over here. Let's do the burger again. All right, so we are shout out Jasper. Who else should I shout out? This Irish guy I have a crush on. This is for you. I don't want to say his name. <clears throat> he knows who. <laughs> this is for you. You know who, from Ireland?
Shout out Central. Uh, and he has some nice skin too on his sausage. They all do, except for people in America. And like, <clears throat> Syria. I don't know. Israel. As you might be able to tell, I'm currently hot and bothered on this trip. There's nobody here. I'm all by myself. I'm like, ah, ah. I'm ready to go to a place where I can just, I don't even know, like a pool party. Like where, like one of those types of the Norwegian would go. Ah, uh, I have needs to be met and I'm just alone in this place. <clears throat> I am hot and bothered. And this, this food doesn't help. This type of food makes you beep AF, makes you, let's say honey. <laughs> Did I say honey? Uh, I am so honey. Oh, that kind of sounds like it. I'm honey, I'm honey, I'm honey, I'm honey. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm, yeah, I am hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm full, but I'm hungry, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, this is the worst part about leaving Orland. I'm so hungry, and there's nothing to eat in this place. I mean, I'm sure there is, but. Peasants, you know, I can't. This is a real human, I mean, I'm not being like gross. This is just human reality. Sometimes you crave stuff and you can't because you're married. <laughs> uh, I'm so married that the ring got ingrained to my hand. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't not wear a ring so I can get hit on even though that's such a bonus. It's the highlight of my day. If someone ever comes up to me and compliments me or whistles at me walking down the street, woohoo! I'm like, oh, yes, please cat call me. What is that called? Cat call? <clears throat> oh, they call it cat call because they do it to women, but some don't like that, but I do. Please, if you ever see me in public, please whistle all you want. This is the biggest confidence booster ever. We need to celebrate it, not, not shame it. At least for me. I don't know. I don't know why people, I'm trying to think. Why would people be upset by that? Someone says that you look beautiful and hot. Why would you get mad at that? Why would you get mad? I don't know, why would you get mad? Oh, you don't wanna be, uh, you don't wanna be attractive to people? I don't know, I don't, I maybe, I don't know. There's probably stories to this, but. Man, I need to title this video, I'm so hungry for something that's not in front of me. <laughs> Dot mukbang. My stupid little dot. You guys notice I put a dot in every title. Not every title. Some of the more dramatic ones don't have dots. But like the basic mukbangs, they have dots. Why do I feel so full? Oh my goodness. Well, I definitely had half that burger. It was so beautiful. So big. It's too big for my mouth. I don't like them that big, to be honest with you. I really don't. I'd rather have it fat than big. Fat. I'd rather have it fat than long. But that's me. Uh, females might say differently. Until he tries to put it in the other hole, then you'll be on my side. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> I love how this is all on YouTube. But you know, I've I, it, it just is what it is. Let's have more of this chili cheese. They get, they, I don't want more of the hot dog. I love that chili cheese. This is so unhealthy. I actually really feel the, the grease like running through my, my body right now. Don't look at me, Ashley. Don't even look. I'm 
crazy. If you think about what I do with my life, I know I'll give you a dramatic little intro today. <clears throat> Whatever. It all just st it stems from truth here. Look what I'm doing with my life. I'm eating food on camera and telling stories. <laughs> what is happening to my life? Mm -hmm. Mm. I love how it bounced off my belly and went straight down to the table. Okay, peasants. Ah, uh, my pants are falling down. That's the worst part about the way I gain fat. I don't gain it in my, in my butt. Sorry. I get it on top, like a muffin top. I get it in my belly, my sides, but not the actual butt. So the pants still fall down. I wear the same size pants now as I did 150 pounds ago, 2XL. But my shirts went from 1XL to 4XL, okay? It's like a, it's like a mushroom, and it has like a little stem. I don't gain fat in my butt. It's the, literally the same little size as it was when I was 100 pounds. You know, oh well. But it might be a good thing too. Having a big butt can also be in the way. Turn around in the kitchen, knock something off the, the table, knock off your bills. Sit in the car, all of a sudden your head hits the ceiling because there's all this cushion under you. Like you can't get in the car. Again, things probably get lost in there. You sit on something you probably can't reach as well. Okay, there's probably a lot of things, but that's not good about having a big butt. <clears throat> I love my little travel bidet. Thank God I had it in my book bag. It's when I was sitting on the air airplane, because I, I obviously had to go to the bathroom, that's when it occurred to me. I'm like, oh my God, did I leave my apartment without packing my bidet? I would just buy another one ASAP. I literally go on Amazon and order right then and there. But I went through my little purse and I had it. Ugh, I should buy some backups too. Mm. So I have to worry about reaching, but I can reach, okay? I can, I can still reach. Oh my God, I really feel so full. This was so fun. This got really dirty too, dirty conversation. And clearly I'm craving water like no one's business. Let's have one last bite of this. Okay, who am I gonna think of this time? Ooh, the guy that me and Orlin both at the same time. Where was he? Puerto Rican, I think. Puerto Rico. Either Puerto Rican or definitely Puerto Rican. Um This is for you. Oh, I remember his name too. It was a fake name. Let me tell you his name. You're gonna laugh. <laughs> I should. I don't want to say his name, even though you're not gonna know who. I don't want to say his name. So let me think of another name that sounds just. It's like an old-fashioned, like Richard Maxwell. It's like your name's not Richard. It might be. It might be Ricardo, but it's not Richard Maxwell. It was like one of those things. I'm like, oh, that's not her name. <sighs> and I was in the car too. Back when I could fit in a car. And uh, he went across the car diagonal. Or was at the bottom, I was at the top. This is a true story. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. It really brought me and Orin closer together. I feel like it really did. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh. <clears throat> I loved it. Ricard, Richard Maxwell. All right, I'm so full. I really should not have any more Maxwells. Here we go. Uh, I'm so full. I can't, oh, I can't. Oh, Richard. I'm done. Sorry, man. Sorry, bro. Oh, he's one of those types like, bro. Pretty sure he was like what you would call down low, I'm sure. I didn't ask, but. <clears throat> he was like, like you would never know. 
that's what he was doing in his car. You're like, there goes a nice man. Just dropped off his honey at his wife at work. <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't know. I didn't ask. I was gonna sp poke and pry on someone that is gonna be out of my life in 15 minutes or 25 if he's really slow. I don't know. I'm not gonna pry these questions, but I was like, oh yeah. It just, yeah. You just get this sense too. Well, goodbye. I am gonna go on Bumble and see if I can satisfy my hunger. And if I can't, well see, at least I'm in Los Angeles, so I should be able to find plenty of skin here. Okay, and also I'm not against without it. Some of them can look really pretty, but nine out of 10 times. I would like to have it, please. So I literally just say, like, I'm straightforward. I'm like, this is my preference. It's like if you're, you know, on, what's that thing called, Tinder? I've never made a Tinder before. And uh, it's, uh, you swipe, right? And But they, like, have preferences. Like, I like blondes, or I like, I only like anything. Whatever you like. <clears throat> and you have your little preferences. And I like short, I like stubby, I like fat, I like chunky, I like it flat. <laughs> I don't know. I like guys with square butts. I wish that should be one of my preferences. Square butt. Square butt. 35 and older. Square butt. And rich. Goodbye, peasants. <sighs> Goodbye. This was so good. I feel like a grease ball. But I identify skinny, link down below. It's just waterway.com. Buy my shirt and a hoodie. Do it. Oh my God, I'm so horny. I love how I dropped this. Yeah, because I leaked all over the floor. God, what's in this food? I swear, this populated the world, this food. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just wanna see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. And if you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.